Having the ability to think is definitely a must-have skill. But how do you really do that? They don't teach you how to think, neither in school, nor in college or in university. Everybody has a brain and everybody thinks. It's just how you think that differs. For many of us, thinking is somewhat unpleasant and therefore, as long as possible, we try to remain in autopilot mode. Because thinking feels uncomfortable. It takes effort. So what is thinking really? How to think? Are there different ways to think? Are there better ways or more efficient ways to think? And how other people do it? Welcome to the series on how to think, the art and science of thinking. I want to show you different perspectives, give you some useful insights, and of course, give some practical tips to help you get better and smarter. But let me ask you this first. Do you think? What do you think? Do I think? <laughs> um, <laughs> I think everybody thinks, right? So everybody has a brain and everybody thinks. It's just how you think that differs. So how do you do that? How do you think? And what's your process of thinking? A lot of times people don't sit back and reflect on how they think. It's just something that happens. It's a very um, subconscious activity at times. But really, if you sit back and reflect, like for me, so one is the active thinking and one is the passive thinking. So active thinking is when I'm deliberately, you know, thinking about a particular situation or a particular decision I have to make or a particular sort of um, a, a particular instance. Right. I know what I'm thinking about. It's very conscious. And then there is another side of things, which is subconscious, where thoughts flow through your mind. If I need to eat food and you know, decide my lunch for today, that decision making is very similar to the decision making I will make for lunch tomorrow or the lunch or for lunch, you know, the day after. So it's not like I plan for the lunch for day after today. Even if I may be going out for lunch with friends and I made the plan to go out with friends, but I don't decide what I'm going to eat today. The decision making for that is similar for me. The process is similar for me. I always like, oh, when I'm writing a book or, you know, when I'm writing, when it's a creative outcome that I want, a creative process that I'm following, my process that I follow in my thinking is pretty much the same. Uh, what is he doing? Uh, he's thinking. Thinking? What does thinking mean? Uh, hmm. When we say I'm thinking or I will think about it, what do we actually mean? If we can articulate it properly, that would be the first step toward improving our thinking. So don't just stop by asking yourself, how do I think? But also ask, why do I do it that way? But why do you do it that way? So over time, I have definitely changed my thinking because of the experiences I have had. And like I said, there are presets, right? When you experience something, there is a connection formed in your mind about it. And then your thinking changes around that. So the simple thing is, you know, I've moved from, say, uh, India to Africa, Africa to Australia. And then after being in Australia, I've traveled to over 40 countries and lived and worked in these countries. So for me, my thinking is at a different level. Like, you know, what I've been exposed to as part of that experience it changes the way I see things. It changes the way I uh, hear things. And often when I go back to my roots, which is to India, when the conversations happen around the table with friends or with family, you can see that your thinking has changed, you know? And you, if had, had I not had those experiences um, and had I stayed put in one country in the same sort of system, the same sort of environment, my thinking would have been very different. You know, I wouldn't have had the experiences to leverage off my thinking. A lot of what we do is based on our experiences and our training. So the fact that we think in a certain way is also driven by the same experiences and training. Which also means that if we were to improve our thinking, we need to improve our experiences. 
we have to open up our world to new and diverse experiences we must be open to new learning and we must be ready to let go of old thinking so when i was really young and you know starting off let's say doing my first university degree the pros my process of thinking was very dependent on you know the the limited experiences that i had so the way i would think about things the way i would approach things would be very um you know very step by step very this is you know step one this is step two this is what i need to do next 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 but today when i've evolved you know i've done you know a few more degrees i've worked and lived in different environments the process in which i think changes because i can skip steps i don't necessarily have to think in a very you know linear one after the other fashion so the process evolves you know and suddenly you can your your thinking speed might change the way you sort of evaluate things also changes now here's an interesting thing good decisions or decisions that result from deep thinking almost always create time for us bad decisions on the other hand consume our time they increase anxiety and they slowly drain our energy out so did you ever face a mental block because of the way you think was there anything peculiar about that yeah <laughs> i think we all face mental blocks right and it happens um in the creative process it happens in the logical process like i'm quite a logical thinker in that sense i realize that for me the quickest way of putting things together is seeing patterns right so that is my strength i know that but there are times when there are other things happening around you which can create the block for you so the mental block is not necessarily about a particular situation or about a particular decision because you know what thinking doesn't happen just in the brain thinking happens in your body it happens across right so that's where i think a lot of um my decision making gets affected or my mental blocks happen is when my body is not in sync with my mind the fact is we were never actually taught how to think or at least there is no particular set process of thinking and that is why we all think differently that is why we have such a diversity of thoughts i also feel that thinking is one of those things which we can learn easily but can be pretty difficult to teach and if you were to teach your kids or say someone grown up how will you describe it so yes it is teachable uh, but only if the other person wants to learn so let's say you know we hear this term a lot right think out of the box what does that really mean it really just means stop thinking the way you usually think and think you know think differently deliberately put yourself in situations where you can think it so first is like you said being aware of how you think initially right so to be aware of how you think um maybe an exercise to do is to mind map um and when i say that what i really mean is think about all the decisions you make so at the end of every day maybe pick one kind of decision that you make or maybe pick you know three different random decisions it's the choice is yours but really just pick some decisions and map them out so what did i do when i had to make this decision what did i think about you know did i eliminate choices did i you know actually just let the decision like was it very automatic like you know was it something i was even aware of the decisions i was making the shirt i picked to wear today or the pants i picked to wear today like did it just come automatically or did i actually make a choice did i actually think about how the color suits me as you map them out you will start seeing patterns you will start seeing are there common outcomes that you normally aim for and are, is there a common sort of thinking that you're doing so when you asked me to think about how i think um it was really for me to think about yeah so how do i think and that's when i thought about yeah there are active thoughts and there are passive thoughts those sort of things will start coming out for you as well um i'm a logical thinker or you know i'm somebody who thinks about patterns more than i think about emotions or you know um people like i think about people but patterns come first to me as such the process of thinking is a complex matter but by now you may have understood that our experiences greatly influence how we think and that also means if we want to improve how we think we need to work on our experiences we must seek to do things that are outside of our comfort zone that's how we can build our thinking muscles understanding how you think is important but then also understanding so how can i change this right so that is the other question that most people have is how do i change my thinking 
when all I've ever known is to think like this. Advice that I would probably have there, and because I've experienced it myself, is you know, put yourself in different situations. Put yourself in situations that you would normally not put yourself in. Um, go out and seek experiences that you normally would not seek. And usually, if you're somebody who puts yourself in new environments very often, and that's the whole point of you know, putting yourself in new experiences, new environments. you will start to build that resilience you will start to build the strength you will start to build the ability to deal with the new situation quicker and you know to the point that you made earlier is has my thinking changed has my process cha- process of thinking changed it certainly has because the more i put myself in new situations the quicker i know how to deal with it the uh, and and then i also change the way i deal with it sometimes because i'm like okay there's a better way to deal with this the situation you see the fact is things around us are changing in so many different directions everything is getting more and more complicated there are far too many choices far too many ways in which things work or don't work information is abundant but understanding not so much and so being comfortable in figuring things out dealing with complexities that is becoming more and more crucial the ability to first analyze and then synthesize is gaining more importance of course there are many different ways to shape our thinking so let's talk about few of them in the next episode and until then keep thinking